Hey there my dudes, I am Laddie and welcome to another video. So this is a much requested video. I am actually doing my shoulder routine. However, it's not as simple as that because I don't just do a shoulder routine. I actually do a routine called push, pull and legs, which means I do push day, which is chest, shoulders and triceps, and then pull day, which is my biceps and back and leg day, which is the whole sort of lower body. And I sometimes throw in ab workouts, but people ask me to put this in here, but I will make a separate video about that. So in this video, I'm actually going to be doing push day, shoulders, triceps, and chest, which is some of the more requested ones. So I decided to do this in this first video. I will mention a few alternatives during the video. However, I might do a no weights, no equipment, full uh, inclusive alternative of video in the future. So let's go to videos of me the other day when it was actually sunny doing the workouts. So I start off every exercise by doing some stretches. I often do some yoga poses and also things that help open up the shoulders and the back and just sort of warm my body up before a workout. This can be really nice, especially if you're just waking up and your body isn't quite used to all the movement it's about to do. One thing I always make sure I do is do stretches to open up my back, but also stretches for my shoulders because there'll be shoulder workouts and you need to make sure that they're not going to get injured during your workout. So this is a particular shoulder stretch that I do as shown on screen. I start with doing push-ups in multiple different ways. This one is a bit more focused on the back and the chest and the elbows are closer to the body and further back and I start by doing some jump push-ups and I always end my push-ups by pushing forward and inward to give an extra bit of flex on the chest. I make sure I do this till failure. I then do different variations like diamond push-ups where your hands are closer together and wide arm push-ups but I always make sure I do around four sets until failure. I make sure I stretch my shoulders before starting the shoulder presses which I will do after this just using some general movement and shoulder stretches behind the back where I cross my arms over above my head. Then I do shoulder presses with two 10 kilogram weights. This is done with my arms slightly in front of my body as I will show you guys and explain in a minute. So with the shoulder presses, I was going to say instead of being back here when you do your shoulder press, I'd say just make sure that you bring your elbows forward slightly when you're doing it because I have an injured, injured shoulder basically because I wasn't doing them correctly in the beginning and it caused like a lot of injury here and I still have soreness and I have to stretch my shoulders before I do a workout so just be careful how you're doing those shoulder presses. I then will usually do a few extra shoulder presses until failure as it just really helps build the shoulder muscles. So you can probably hear the birds a bunch so apologies for that but these here are 10 kilogram weights each so they're not really that heavy. Um, I just got them off of Amazon. I can try and link them down below, but at the moment it's looking like at some point I'm going to need to go back to the gym because they're too expensive to keep buying more weights and I haven't really progressed upwards of these weights for a while, so I've just added more reps, which you can do as well. Then there is the lateral raises. As I will explain in a minute, you have to be slightly bent forward and also use from your shoulders down to your elbows. My arm was hurting at this particular point, so I just did a few more stretches so my shoulder didn't get injured. So one thing I wanted to mention about the lateral raises is 
when you're lifting them up, you kind of need to bend slightly, uh, bend your legs slightly. I'll link other videos that probably explain how to do it better. But also when you're raising those weights, you kind of want to do them from your shoulders to the elbow. So you want to feel it very much in your shoulder down to your elbow rather than in your front of your arm here. I will link more videos that explain it better. I put my weights on the ground in a V shape and I did some press ups using those weights because that means that you can go further into the push up and it applies more force and tension to your chest. I did this again until failure but my chest was pretty tired at this particular point so it didn't take too many. I did about three sets of these but you can do four if you want to push yourself. Then I did a floor bench press. It's harder because you can't move your elbows lower than your body. However, if you make sure, as I'm positioning myself now, that you raise your chest, you should be able to get a good enough flex on your chest just to finish off the chest exercises. As you've probably done quite a few chest exercises up to this point, it will probably tire you out pretty quickly. I also do some inner closer body press ups with the chest, uh, chest presses with the dumbbells, and then I do some outer arm ones. There are so many different ways that I like to switch up these chest presses and these bench presses and dumbbell presses because it applies to a different level of the chest each time. Then I do some floor tricep extensions above my head, making sure that I keep my elbows vertical above my body. These ones can be really hard, so I did them with the smaller weight set that I had. Then I do some tricep kickbacks. You can lean against anything like a wall and I make sure that when I am moving my arm back, I am slightly flexing outwards and this applies more pressure to the right muscles that you need. I do this on each arm about two times, but you can do three sets on each arm. And I do this until failure, which it should be around 12 to 15 reps. So for some of these, I use my smaller weight, which is my, I think it's about 6.8 kilograms. And I use that for the tricep kickbacks and also the lateral raises because those exercises you might injure yourself if you use bigger weights than the ones you do for your main muscle groups like your shoulders. And then I finish my workout by stretching my shoulders and my arms as shown before and I end with meditation and breathing and possibly some yoga to get ready for the day ahead. I know it sounds hippie, but it really does help zone me and make me feel better and calmer for the day. So that was generally what I've been doing since about the start of lockdown down when everything started back in like April of 2020 and I stuck to that doing about three plus days I mean three at least days sometimes it's been every day or like five days a week depending it changes between the weeks but I basically just worked so hard on this method from the beginning of April however I will link my previous video I did speak about how I originally did it as chest one day and then arms one day and 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 shoulders and and things a different day i did a very weird split of the muscle workouts originally however i soon found out that it is way better to do the push pull and leg split method so another thing that people wanted me to bring up other than speaking about the alternatives as I mentioned, like you can do a uh, pike press, loads of other different things you can also use, which I will try and link down below if I can find any good ones. You can use resistance bands. I will mention these all in a complete separate video of how to do it without any equipment. I will also try and write up my workout and put that down below so you guys can know in list order what you guys should go through on your push days if you want to do a similar method to me. I'm not saying I'm an expert or anything at all. This is just what I've done to see the progress that I have seen over the year. I could do better, but one thing I'll speak about now is my diet. 
Uh, I use LifeSum, which is an app which puts together how much carbs I need and food I need. Obviously, it's important that you, you look at that app in a healthy type of way. Um, look at it for get, getting the right macronutrients to build the muscle and not on, you know, don't look too far into it with dieting because that can end up being concerning. Um, but it is still a really good app if you look at it in a healthy way. I also use BCAAs. I use two of those before I work out as well as cre two creatine. There's, uh, for me, they've been working to give me some energy, but do your own research for how they will react with your body online, because I know everybody's different. But they give me a lot of energy. They help me work out harder and for longer, and also help with my uh, muscle growth and regeneration and repair afterwards. So one thing I don't do enough is is definitely don't eat enough or get enough calories in. So I recommend if you guys do want to build that bit of muscle, I probably could have more muscles if I just ate more on a given day. So that is something that I need to work on and that you guys should try and work on from the beginning. I haven't gone back to the gym much yet, but I know that I will be going to the gym in the future, but all of this kind of stuff can be done in the gym as well if you want. However, you can add in some bench presses if you've got a bench there and you've got someone to help you out. I'd be careful with the positioning so you don't injure yourself like I did. I injured one of my shoulders. There's a bunch of things that you really need to kind of try and be careful about when approaching fitness, but there's plenty of stuff you can do in the gym and a lot of it is just research online. So I, I think that's everything in my routine. I, uh, I've mentioned the basic of what I have done in this year to get to where I am now because I had a bunch of people asking on my Instagram. Thank you guys for letting me know what kind of videos you want and also let me know in the comments down below what kind of videos you want. If you want to see more fitness videos as I will be doing in the future, please like, comment and subscribe and click that notification bell because I'll be making plenty of fitness videos this summer as I'll have way more time. I'm currently amidst university exams if I just... That's... Yeah. Yeah, that. <laughs> so hope you guys enjoyed this video and I wish you guys the best of luck with how your workout goes. Let me know and ask me any questions in the comments down below and also over on my Instagram and also let me know what kind of videos you want to see. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye. So we.